the Honorable Clerk of the Circuit Court, Dorothy Brown. Good evening. Afternoon. Afternoon, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Buenas tardes. How about that? But, yeah. <laughs> Well, good afternoon to all of you, and um, thank you, Ellen, and uh, the Government Technology Foundation for inviting me to say a few words today. I certainly want to um, recognize the entire, uh, the founding directors, uh, and uh, just a phenomenal group, a fantastic idea, uh, an innovation, really, of sorts, uh, as we just heard. Uh, I wish to acknowledge our president of the county board, of course, our, my great friend, Commissioner Steele, uh, and uh, the Consulate General, who's a great friend of mine as well, the Consulate General from, from of India, uh, Dr. Saeed, uh, and um, my CIO, who is my partner in technology crime, if you will, Ms. Bridget Dancy. Uh, it's just, uh, and all of the other uh, keynote speakers here today, the reason why I'm able to embrace technology, Ellen, is because back in, when I graduated from Southern University in 1975, I graduated with, even though I was in accounting as a major, I graduated with computer, computers as my minor. Uh, for some reason, back then in the 70s, I figured out that computers were, uh, would be the, the, the future. And so I wanted to have a grasp on that and so that's why I'm not afraid of it, and have, I've been able to uh, really uh, uh, advance my knowledge by working with people like Bridget Dancy and the like. And then when I was the, uh, the general auditor for the Chicago Transit Authority, auditing uh, the uh, information technology department gave me another sense and understanding of technology. So all of that put together helps me to uh, has helped me to embrace technology. But I applaud the Government Technology Foundation for providing this opportunity that allows participants to work on building effective partnerships that focus on how to best harness technology to improve efficiencies in government. I'm honored to be a member of the GTF Advisory Board. Uh, the theme of today's panel discussion, how partnerships and collaboration will drive the future of technology innovation, is very timely. Today, more than ever, government at all levels are seeking to improve operational processes, programs, and services, and effectively meet the needs of citizens while contending with limited resources. It is vitally important to consider how government and major corporations may work together to pool resources to develop innovative technologies that improve government systems, reduce costs, and save taxpayers money. Uh, we have a prime example of that uh, when we partnered with online information services to put in our electronic filing system. Uh, they, back, uh, I guess that's been about, I would say, six years ago, uh, were able to um, uh, uh, respond to our a request that a technology firm would put in that system for free and only get paid when the users use the system. And so we were able to have no cost <laughs> for an electronic. You guys want to do a no cost? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody? <laughs> we have a case management system out on this. <laughs> Isn't that right, Simone? Yeah. <laughs> we love to get a no cost <laughs> for our case management system. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> but that, to me, was uh, uh, an innovative way to get uh, electronic filing uh, for Cook County. But I salute the Government Technology Foundation for its commitment to supporting governmental efficiencies and the economic development of our communities. I hope all of the attendees here are inspired and motivated by the critical information that, we pro that will be provided by GTF today. Thank you all so very much and thank you for being here. Thank you.